Hey there, I'm D-Pad Gamer, and you might find this video a tad lacking. No worries, we're gonna make do with what we got. Okay, that was awful. Here are a couple Easter eggs in Super Mario Maker. Just like the game, let's start at the title screen. While playing around here, you can interact with various things on screen. First, if you tap Super the Super Mario part of the title, you're rewarded with some superstars. The M will change to a W for Wario. While in the Super Mario Bros. theme, you'll be given a temporary Wario costume. The A will summon a bunch of pretty stars, which destroys all enemies and shells on screen. R gives Mario a bunch of cash money. I summons the Parakeet from Nintendo DSi Sound, which appears in this game's sound recording option. O will summon a clown car. Tapping on the second M will summon a shell helmet for Mario. The second A will turn into a rocket which blasts off, clearing all items and enemies on screen. K will turn the screen into a sepia tone with 8-bit music. E will summon a springboard. R will either summon a Yoshi egg or a Goomba shoe depending on the current game style. If you tap on the screen anywhere else, it'll summon a Goomba, Koopa, or sometimes Bowser. And the last thing here, if you drag the stylus across the screen, it'll produce a bunch of magic dust. Isn't that pretty? If you've ever played the SNES game Mario Paint, this part will be quite familiar. If you idle in the editing mode for 15 minutes, three flies will appear on screen. You can also trigger this whenever by shaking the crap out of a muncher. Either way, tapping on all three flies will activate the hidden game mode, Nat Attack. The first two levels have you swatting flies, with the third pitting against the evil Watinga boss. There's gnats, big flies, dragonflies, and bomb flies. It really shouldn't be difficult, but man, I'm having a hard time. Oh, I have an idea. I'll let my bearded dragon Falker play for me. He loves bugs, he'll be a pro at this. N never mind, buddy. Thanks for trying. <laughs> well, when you do eventually complete level 3, you're rewarded with the Builder Mario costume. In the 1.20 update, a more difficult version of Nat Attack was added. All you gotta do to start it is shake a muncher until Watinka shows up and then smack that a bunch. You'll be rewarded with the fight or fly costume for winning, and I do mean you because I'm definitely not gonna bother. Let's start with some context. As you may or may not know, you can use a 30th anniversary Mario amiibo like so. It spawns a big mushroom, which makes Mario huge, allowing him to stomp through most blocks. The screen takes the look of an old CRT television, and oh, the enemies all change in various funny ways. Now to the secret part. You can actually activate about a third of that whenever you want. When loading into any level, hold down on the D-pad as well as on the A and B buttons. There you go, the classic CRT look whenever you want. You can deactivate it the same way. The booklet included with this game is full of level building ideas and fundamentals. There's a bunch of pictures with corresponding 4 digit code. In the game's digital instruction manual, the codes are used to view videos of the relevant gameplay. It's a pretty neat use of digital and physical mediums together. With that explained, let me show you 4 somewhat secret codes. The first code is on the top right of page 2, 0913. That code will reward us with this video. It's Super Mario Bros. musical composer Koji Kondo playing a medley on the piano. It's a few minutes long, so look in the description for a link to the full version. On page 93, hidden here is the code 8010. It's a hidden warp zone of sorts. Basically a small article talking about the development of this game's costumes. On page 94 is the code 2234, hidden in plain sight. It's another hidden warp zone, this time a bit of programmer feedback. Finally, on the very last page is the code 1309, inside of Miyamoto's autograph. It's a video showing Takashi Tenzuka and Shigeru Miyamoto signing their autographs which were placed into this booklet. Let's finish with costumes and confusion, basically Mario's usual Friday. Normally, at the end of the 10 Mario challenge, Toad will inform Mario that Peach is in another castle. Classic. Upon completing the 100 Mario challenge, Peach will thank Mario calling him a hero. If you wear a costume, however, the dialogue can change. I'm gonna let my buddy and Genius Clown perform the alternate dialogue. Take it away, Clown Town. 
the Bowser? Ah! I thought you were taking the princess to another castle! Bowser, hey, thanks for saving me <laughs> from yourself. Princess Peach? How did you escape? No! Oh, it's just a costume! Eh, hey, Captain! It's terrible! Princess Peach has been taken to another castle! Thanks for watching this video. Big thanks to Ingenious Clown for lending his voice talent. He has his own channel full of awesome videos, so click on the screen to check it out, which you totally should, by the way. If you'd like to check out more of my stuff, follow the links on screen. Or don't. I'm not your mom, I think. I'll see you next time.